you so you go into the routes um, you need to click the edit button so you click if you if you don't see an edit button it's because you're on the all you know on the all screen or something you, you need to click the edit button edit the routes uh, page for an appliance and then you'll see the find preferred route button press that it'll pop a dialog and then enter the IP address, not, not a cider block, the specific slash 32 that you want to know about, and just press find. Um, that does an actual route lookup. And interestingly, if, if you're, you have equal cost routes, like let's say you're doing ECMP or something else, or you made a mistake and you forgot to set your metric from a spoke using the IPSLA VRP track mechanism for edge HA, something like that, then uh, this will change. So every time you hit find, it's a new lookup. And so it'll say East 2, and it'll change East 3, East 2, East 2, East 3. You're rolling a two-sided dice if you have two hubs with the same metric. And that's what this does. It's actually very useful. Now, you might say, what does the overlay name piece do? Um, normally, you can just leave this self-generated set to any. If you select the overlay, you actually might get a different answer, depending on how your overlays are set up. Some people... Um, like to apply overlays in some places and not others. The guest overlay is fine for that, by the way. I think it's fine to apply guest to only certain spokes, uh, but everything else, real time, critical apps, default, all those, I personally believe that all overlays should be applied to all appliances everywhere globally all the time. But if you don't do that um, and you only have overlays in certain places, the find preferred route mechanism can help you debug that by selecting the overlay that you that you need.